Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. So, um, I think I'm going to put this video before the weigh-in, um, because it's a little bit more informational. So, um, I'm just going to be safe and say this might be a trigger warning for some people, but I don't really think so, but yeah. So, this video is all about how I lost um, 12 pounds in seven days so um yeah <laughs> and I have my uh, journal right here to go with you um, to talk about kind of the things that I ate um, and stuff like that and what I stuck with and things like that that so I guess we'll just dive right into it so last Monday I decided to change my life um and I weighed myself um and I was 315 exactly 315.0 um now what I like to do because I've been on so many diets um, what I like to do when I'm starting, uh, and basically what I do when I'm starting is I'll fast the first day. Um, now, not a lot of people like fasting, and I get that, but I'm just telling you what works for me and what I do. So, the first day, um, I did fast, uh, for a whole 24 hours. Um... And then the 14th, which was the next day, so a Tuesday, um, is when I started calorie counting. Now, um, I like to write everything down um, from breakfast all the way to dinner. And then I like to reflect on how I did that day. So... For breakfast for the first few days, I think it was one, two, three. For the first three days, I had um, one cup of fat-free cottage cheese, which was 180 calories, um, two large white eggs, which is 140, and three slices of turkey bacon, which was 75. So my breakfast, my breakfast um, total calories for I think, yeah, um, was three ninety five. Um, lunch, I kind of switch it up a little bit, um, and dinner, I'll switch up a little bit. So, for lunch that day, I had um, six slices of um, it's like chicken breast lunch meat, which is only seventy calories, and then I had. Two tablespoons of peanut butter for 190. Um, and the reason, I guess, I should go into the reason why this is a trigger warning, because I do struggle with um, binge eating and um, eating disorder in general. So whether I am binge eating or I'm starving myself, so it could be a trigger warning because my calories are kind of lower um, than most people would probably like. Um, but I am working on that. So. This works for me, but I don't, I guess I don't really recommend it for people, um, you know, normal people, because I'm not normal. Um, and I'll tell you the amount of calories that I have in a day, um, when I get done reading you what I ate for the first day, and then I'll just go through the calories for the next few days. Because my focus is um, eating more calories. Because last year when I went on this journey, I did. I tried to do it last year, and I failed because I was literally eating 200 calories a day, and I was starving. And I'd basically counteract that with binging. So that was just not good. I went off the rails and. Here I am today, 
well here I was last week at 315.0 so um so yeah that's not um it's not very good but um so dinner I skipped dinner that day um I think I was sleeping um so I crossed it out I did I do like to plan my meals um so I was beeping um I do like to plan my meals um in advance so like when I start a new day um I'll just show you um this is a clean day this is for tomorrow January 21st I will write down my breakfast and then I'll plan out I'll sit down and plan out what I'm going to have for the rest of the day so it's there and I already know what I'm going to have I already know the calories that I'm going to eat that day and so on and so forth so um yeah I skipped dinner this is this journey is basically all about self-love and learning to feed my body correctly and I guess you know work out more because I'm not very active but this week I was a little bit more active so that day the Tuesday I ate 655 calories for the the whole day um, overall I felt good um, I drank more water because I did have a pop um, addiction as well but I drank more water I've completely cut out pop and I thought I was doing great you know I I thought I did good regardless of my calories being so low and I'll be the first one to tell you that my calories are low okay um, the next day same breakfast um, you know my lunch and dinner were different so I ended that day with 885 calories that is more than the day before so I you know I'm improving just day by day but me being the eating disorder in my brain tells me you know I'm so stuck on losing weight and I want to lose weight fast and that's not necessarily a good thing um, because if I think to myself I want to lose weight fast that normally means I gotta starve myself I can't eat I have to restrict myself and I'm trying to retrain my brain to think oh I have to eat I can't eat and still lose weight um, so the next day after that was kind of like a um, a realization that I could eat and still lose weight um, overall so um, the next day January 16th we went out to dinner with my dad and his fiance and for for breakfast I could I counted lunch and dinner um, together because we went out to um, to dinner around the same time as I kind of would have lunch um, partly like between lunch and dinner so I called it lunch and dinner um, but for breakfast I kind of added um, more calories because you know my breakfast before was 395 and that's that's a good breakfast but I thought maybe I can add like a cup of almond milk or something so I did get the cup of almond milk um, which I did tweak a little bit towards the end of the week um, which was 60 calories so that was 455 and then my lunch and dinner um, I kind of treated myself because I didn't want to completely go off my diet I did bring my book with me um, and I did look at the calories and stuff like that so I did have a, um, we went to Frickers, and I'm not a big fan of salads or anything like that, or, or veggies at all. Um, so I did get a chicken filet sandwich, which was 390 calories, and then I got crinkle cut fries, which was 320. So for lunch and dinner, it was 710, which I thought, you know, at first I was like, this is too much, I can't eat this. But then I realized, like, I can't eat this, and I ended my day with 1,165 so to improve from the first day being 655 to that day being 1165 I was like this is a lot you know like I'm doing really well um 
My reflection was very good food-wise, went out to eat, ordered options that still fit into my calories, and I'm so proud of myself for not overeating. Because everybody knows when you go out to eat, it's very easy to overeat. Very easy. It's very easy to get off track. It's off diet. You can literally order anything, you know. So the next day was back down. Sadly, um, it was back down. Um... I ran out of cottage cheese and um, I didn't have any almond milk for breakfast. So my breakfast was only 2.15. Um, lunch was around um, 3.10. But we did have um, we did have Alfredo. We Alfredo, which was really good. My boyfriend cooked it, so I'm so happy. Um, which was 3.10. And then dinner was only 220. So I ended that day with 675 um, calories. But that's low. That's way back low. So I'm like, I have to do something. I have to continue to eat more. You know, I need to eat more. I'm allowed to eat more. I don't want to feel deprived. Um, so the next day, my dogs are fighting, guys. Hey. Come over here. Come be in the video. You want to be in the video? Okay. So the next day, um, the 18th, my total calories were 862.8. Um, back up, but not where it needs to be. Um, so I was like, hmm, you know, like, two more days until my weigh-in. You know, I'm excited. Stuff like that. So, yesterday... Um, I got even more calories in, and I had about, um, 952.5, and I counted yesterday as a really good, um, a really good day. I was a little, my, my calorie goal is 1,200, so I was pretty much under that, but I still felt, I didn't feel deprived, I felt full. Um, I went to bed happy and ready for today's video. So, um, yeah. And then today, all I had for breakfast was, um, I, I switched out the regular almond milk to the unsweetened almond milk, which cut the calories in half, and I still got what I wanted. So, my breakfast, I just had three slices of turkey bacon, two large, um, white eggs and then one cup of unsweetened almond milk and that was 245 um for the day i don't know yet i haven't really got the um chance to plan out my meals yet um we have things to do we have to go to the store um and i have to bring um caleb to the store and stuff like that so hold on okay i'm gonna hopefully finish this video up really quickly because there's people outside and my dog likes to bark come here come here you'll be on video yeah, you do. Oh. oh my gosh, so does my other dog. Oh my goodness. Okay. So, um, yeah, I haven't planned out my, my plans for today, um, what I'm going to eat. But, um, yeah, I'm going to hopefully just stick to my diet, hopefully eat more. Um, but yeah, basically, um, I started adding things to do at home. Um, I have a few hand weights to do at home um, that I do. I do leg exercises. I'll walk more. Um, stuff like that. And um, this is Elliot. Elliot Robert Giles. He's my little boy. I'm holding him so he doesn't bark at um, the neighbors. I think that they're outside. But, um, but yeah. So that's what I've been doing to lose weight. I've been focusing on eating more. I'm doing Weight Watchers and counting calories. But I think I will just go um, more to counting calories because that seems more reliable um, than that. So, yeah. Um, like I said, this probably won't work for everybody. I know that I have a lot of improving to do. Um, and I plan on doing that. Do you hear someone? You're so sweet. I have a lot of improving to do. A lot of self-love. Um stuff like that so I really hope that you guys really enjoyed this video
You think they enjoyed it? Yeah? Say, so, I'm gonna go get some food. Your ears are back. Do you not like being on camera? You're the prettiest boy. Anyway, guys, so I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, that's how I lost the 12 pounds in, in seven days. Um, that's how I lost it. And I know that there's, like I said, room for improvement, which hopefully next week will be improved calorie-wise, eating-wise, um, and movement-wise. So my goals, I'm just going to quickly say my goals for next week and, um, Hopefully, I reach them. What are you doing, buddy? So, my goals for next week is I want to be able to drink more water um, and eat more calories and move more. Basic goals for the next week. And, um, yeah. Oh, you want down. I know, buddy. I know. But if I let you down, then you're going to go bark. And I don't want you barking. I'm filming a video. I'm filming a video. Oh, he's tired. Um, but yeah. So I'm really hoping you guys have a good day. Um, I'm going to try to get this up as soon as possible. Like I said, I do have to go to the store though. Um, tomorrow, Tuesday, there's a video with the Reborns. So, um, I really hope you guys enjoy that. Um, my dogs are having a, a confrontational look. Um, this is why I, I switched sides. There you go. Anyway, guys. So, I really hope you enjoyed the video today and tomorrow because I know you probably miss my Reborns just as much as I do. Um, I miss filming them. So, yeah. I think that's going to be it for today. Um, thank you guys for all the kind love and support. And I'm so grateful for each and every one of you. All 73 of you. Even though you guys probably don't watch my videos, some of them that are maybe bots or something like that. But even those watching in silent, I appreciate you. And I really hope you enjoy this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Right, Willow? And I will see you tomorrow. Bye, guys. Hey, everybody, and welcome back to my channel. So today is the day. Um, it's the live weigh-in. <sighs> I'd be lying if I said I um, wasn't nervous, um, but I weighed myself last week, last Monday, so exactly seven days, and I was 315.0, so <sighs> I'm really nervous. I've been working really hard. Ellie! Oh my goodness, they're fighting over there. Um... But, um, anyway, so I've worked really hard this week. I've, you know, kept my food journal and stuff. So I'm really hoping to see good results. Um, so yeah, I guess just let's get right into it. So this is my scale. I love it. Um, it has numbers on here for, um, each person. I'm one, Shane's two, and then we don't have three and four. So I'm going to hit one, and then that's my height. I'm going to set you down to look at my clean dishes while I step on. That's my weigh-in. So, 303.0. Holy cow. Wow. So, um... Yeah, I'm going to get myself put together because I do weigh myself naked. And then I'll come right back to you um, to talk about how I lost that weight.